like I would ever put my lips to that nasty windshield rag. <laughs> Bam. Rah. All right, let's light this candle. Oh, I already almost had the music on. Let's <laughs> start off with a spank. <sighs> All right, let me fire up chat activities. I, I was just following this story, which some of you might already be aware of. P. Diddy. Hmm. There's been rumors flying around that cat for years and years and years. So they finally got enough evidence to read. I don't know if I'm even allowed to say that. But I can on my new platform. <laughs> Link in the description. Alright, there we go. Chat, all messages. 75 people, that's freaking awesome. Alright, pre flight check done. Windshield done. What else do I gotta get done? Something, I don't know. I gotta say all the hellos, that's what I gotta do. So we're in the employees parking at the Rio. I was just watching some drama. There was like five, five O's surrounding a vehicle and doing all sorts of stuff. And then like five minutes later, they let the person go. <laughs> That's a lot of taxpayers' dollars for apparently not so much. But good on them letting them go if they didn't do nothing. All right, where are we here? Da, da, da. Let me catch up on that. Let me fire up chat. And we got Mary Tom Gary with the 10 banana ramas for the petrol. Appreciate that. You are awesome, bro. Kicking off the super chat, covering some of the gas activities. Uh, Janice, Joe Q, Val Marie, Phil, Linda, Mike, Liz, Sony, Angie. Kyle, what's going on? Oh, I was just going to post a picture. I forgot. I took the picture, didn't post a picture over at the other forum. Uh, Chris Nett and Frank. Alan, what's happening? And again, Gary Jets, 1988. Always good to see you, too. Aaron. Sylvia. Ken. Take that, take that. <laughs> uh barely caught up. Maria. I don't know why we're still like glitching every once in a while. We shouldn't be freaking glitching whatsoever. I mean, I did a speed test and it's at 480 by 92. And that is stupid fast. BSKY. Keith, thank you for the other night. I do appreciate that. And Gunflin. Why diggy. Miss Google. All right, usual suspects, 92 peoples. All right, pre-flight check is done. I will be your pilot. <clears throat> like I said, we're in the Rio parking lot. It is. It just got overcast like 15 minutes ago. Half the town is sunny. Half the town looks like that. So I want to show you, too, what it looks like when the mountains rain. But my primary goal today, besides BSing and captivating minds, is I wanted to go drive over by the Tropicana. A lot of people have been saying, oh, you're going to go for the closing and all this. And I'm like, ah, I don't feel like fighting with them a-holes. They always throw me out. They've been just mean and miserable over the years of YT and prior to that. And then I'm like, you know, how could I deny people that? And, you know, my personal feelings aside... And why not get kicked out on the last day <laughs> or the last 48 hours, you know? I mean, it's the Tropicana. It's been there 67 years. They're closing. They're Supposedly the gift shops are out of all the gifts and there's no more tokens. And if you do buy them, they got to be $10. So they're making like extra coin on all these souvenirs, probably in the neighborhood of a million bucks. Um... You know, so might as well go get tossed out of that. See if they're going to be a-holes to the very end. If they're going down on that with the whole a-hole ship. <laughs> you know, if they toss us out, they toss us out. However, I know the parking lot's going to be nasty packed. Um, 
I could park in the surrounding areas for, you know, 35 bucks or whatever. But I don't feel like doing that, of course. Um, you know, because that's pretty much uh, makes live stream a break even. So, uh, I'm going to go look over there, see if there's any other place that we could park in the local area there. That's the game plan. And, you know, having fun. Tom Mack with the five banana ramens. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome to me. Yeah, Kyle, you're right. Yeah, I'm, I'll just, I'll stamp my feet and I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to tell my whole entire audience never to come to the Tropicana ever again. And I'm never stepping foot in this place forever. You'll never see me again. <laughs> and see what they say. That might be funny shit, you know? Be good content. Great Dane Mom, Jim Wolf. I like all people piling on. We got a bunch. All right, so before we get going, <clears throat> what was I going to say? I was going to say, bro, Frederick coming at you with another drive and chat live stream from Las Vegas. We're going to go up and down the Las Vegas Strip, and I'm going to invite you to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button, do all this stuff. Go check out my personal streaming platform. Hey, brorfrederick.com. That's where I'm raw and uncensored. And that's actually the name of the platform. Bro Frederick, raw and uncensored. You can me out over there. The, uh, let's see, the inaugural stream is coming up in 48 hours. Less than 48 hours. It's going to be Wednesday, I think, at 3 p.m. my time. And basically, it's going to be a hello and, you know, all that good stuff and a little little bit of an orientation of how the platform works, what you can expect, and all that type of good stuff, and all the hidden features and the not-so-hidden features. So, join over there. It's freaking awesome. And you can click on links and do all the stuffs. <laughs> and Maria with the two banana ramas for the coffees after. Absolutely. Matter of fact, I got coffee for the trip right now. I'm still rocking the Christmas cup. Yeah. And what else? I still have my Christmas tree up. One of them. Anyway, I might take it down. I don't know. I just might do it because I'm doing like, I'm going to start on oh, sometime in May. I'm going to move the studio from one spot to a completely new spot, redesign it a little bit. So that's going to involve pulling down lights, and it's just going to be a, a ton of work. And then I'm going to rebuild the room that it was in. And, you know, I mean, I say studio, but, you know, obviously it's my house. Well, not obviously, but it's my house. And then I'm going to take... What's up, bro? Um, I'm going to take that room and... As much as I want to convert it to a gym, I'm going to convert it back into a guest room. <laughs> so I got to do all that. I got to repaint and uh, probably pick up some furniture and stuff. But anyway, it'll be fun. Yeah, I still have the tree up. I just, it was up to me. I'd leave it around 24-7. It just, just gives me some ambiance because I'm a Christmas fanatic. All right, you ready to go? All right. Trays in the upright position. If the oxygen mask drops from the top, <laughs> you know what to do. Let's go. See what I'm saying about this side being all like wah wah wah. Rain any second now. Now check out. I mean, still got those groovy clouds. I got it on wide today. Well, it's kind of sort of a zoomed in wide angle, so you can really like see some stuff. Look at how cool the clouds look. Look at the employee tower. That's like a looks like a prison tower <laughs> for the employee. There's never been anyone up there in the history of ever. I don't know what they're doing. They sent some guy up there with a AK or something. I don't know. All right, but let's get to, I was going to say hoofing, but we ain't hoofing, we're booking. Oh, and at 7.30, I did schedule a live stream on the other platform, Bro, Frederick Ruin Uncensored. You'll probably get an email. It's not like a mandatory thing to show up. I'm doing some iPad testing, and there was a little glitch I found in the live chat. So I just wanted to test that out. 
before Wednesday. So, you know, you're around. So I gotta wrap this up by like 7 so I can make my way home and such. Alright, which way should we go? Hmm. Let's well go the back way. Let's go the back way. F it. Let's go the back way. <clears throat> so how was everyone's Sunday? I put up the video about uh, the credit card scam Ola. I mean, that's an older video, but it did resurface again in terms of, I heard someone fell prey to that, so I figured, let me put it up. There's been so many new people. There's, there's like 7,000, 8,000 new people on YouTube that probably haven't seen that. You know, very few people go back and look through the whole, what do you call it, catalog per se. But that was a fun video. The A Stadium looks pretty... Oh, yeah, Jet... Dude. <laughs> that is gonna... That's gonna trash traffic. Absolutely. I, I am not rooting for that thing. I don't know what they're gonna do. So that pretty much makes... I mean, not that they're gonna be there that often, but there'll be other events and stuff. Holy cow, the traffic's gonna be bad on the Strip. But, again, opponent is just shutting down the Strip to all traffic. Just being done with it. That way we don't have to worry about it. The Bellagio announced their price for uh, the VIP section that they're going to build. Like they they had they built last year in front of the fountains for F1, and it starts this year at only a discounted price of thirteen thousand dollars. Last year it was twenty five, so it's half. Did they plan on making half the money? I don't know. I just think, you know, people are just like, F it. You know, it's my understanding. All right, dig this. It's my understanding that the amount of chargebacks that F1 is being hit with are staggering. Like, absolutely staggering. They've had to hire people in order to handle the level of chargebacks they got from this year's F1. <clears throat> well, last year's F1. And basically, that is based on the fact that people like F you, F1, because uh, you told us that we were going to, this, our package included, you know, all four days. And we got kicked. You evicted us. You would be arrested if we didn't leave. So we want our money back. And unfortunately, the way most, um, you know, when you do a chargeback, what happens is you can't say, well, I received, you know, I received, I, you know, I got the box spring, but not the mattress on the set I bought. So I just want to do a chargeback on, you know, the half of the purchase. You got to do the whole purchase or nothing. So they're getting hit bad with, with chargebacks. And those sometimes take months to resolve. And each one of them has to be individually addressed. You know, it's like a team. Like, large corporations have charge-back departments where they just have people sitting there and You know, I mean, there's probably a lot of cut and paste going on. But, yeah. This is... Where are we on? He's on... Sinatra. Can you hear him singing? Look at the traffic. Trying These are all employees trying to get the absolute F out of town. They're done. Oh, look at Golden Owl looking all sexy on the building. That's pretty cool. Should we go down here? Yeah, let's go down park. We'll do a little bit of a strip activity. So yeah, rumors about the Diddy. I met him twice, and I met uh, what's this? But not like met, hang out, yo. You know, we didn't like, you know, like hug and shit. But you know, I met him. We were in the same locale and whatnot. And he was, you know, he was who he is. He was standoffish, you know, pretty much. However, Biggie was cool. 
think he was just fucking cool dude, you know? He passed me a blunt. <laughs> like, what up? <sighs> it's gone back for years and years and years, you know? But it's mostly revolving, um, how would I say? I gotta talk about this delicate. That's why I started a platform, so I don't have to talk about it delicately. I can just say what's what. But it mostly involved uh, other dudes. Like stuff have been stuff's been surfacing about him, like being into uh, you know that for a while, for quite a while. People have been coming forward and talking about stuff like that. But um, you know, it was that. That's not enough. That didn't trigger anyone's uh, pissed offness. They were just like, oh, whatever. You know, but when it comes to, uh, you know, women, you know, again, there's a gender thing going on there. So once it comes to women, it's like, oh, my God. But, you know, it, it remains to seen whether it be seen, whether it's true or not true. They did the same thing with Anne. There's a lot of allegations, but, you know, I mean, you gotta, you can't just allegate, but, you know, tell that to Steve Wynn. Not that I'm defending it, but, you know, I like to see proof of things. But evidently, they went looking for it because they raided all his properties. And they took some people out in shackles. They took out computers, all the stuffs. And what he, he supposedly fled the country on his private jet. So, guilty people generally don't flee, but ah, at the same time... You know, hmm. We shall see. But the allegations, what were the allegations? Like the ones I've said so far is, you know, like he might have slapped a couple people around and stuff. But then again, I mean, if you listen to the music, it is based on, you know, trying to portray that tough guy thing, I don't know, we shall see, you know, I just want him to get his day in court, not his day in media court, because that doesn't really matter, again, not defending, because I've heard the stories, like personally, and they weren't pleasant, but again, like I said, it pretty much revolved around other dudes. Yo, man, didn't know that about you. I remember he passed the Bernard uh, when they got pulled over that time years and years ago. He gave it to J Lo. It's like you, you take this, you take the hit for me. That, that was that was some cowardly shit. But I don't know. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, that's some traffic. All of a sudden, the sun just came out. It's getting kind of beautiful. Chanel for show. Yep, the harder they come, the harder they fall. You know, and he's been out of the spotlight for years. The Biggie's death, I mean. You haven't really heard much of him. At least, what, close to 20 years he hasn't been relevant? So for all this stuff to, like, suddenly start coming to the surface, see, that makes me a little suspicious, too. And well, 20 years ago, this happened. Did anyone see? No. Okay. <laughs> you know, what, 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 what is going on here? Oh, some of our state flowers are in the middle of the road. Okay, cool. You know, the whole Andrew thing, I've followed that. I, you know, I hope he gets his day. But, you know, that's kind of suspect, too. That's extremely suspect. All right, now. Let's get on this. The road is freaking trashed over here. Right, let's 
let's go look at the Tropicana and the surrounding areas. Right, yes, I can park it. All these surrounding properties, but like I said, that makes I don't like doing break even live streams. <laughs> it's a, just a lot of work to break even just for the hell of it. But listen how, listen how loud that is. We're inside the vehicle, my car is fairly soundproof. Well, I wouldn't say soundproof, but it's got sound deadening. And you can hear, still hear that music blasting like a freak. Steve Six. Yeah, and Gary, you're right. You never really know people. You don't know who someone is behind closed doors. That includes me, you, and everyone else. Like, how do you... Like, I think about that sometimes, you know? Like, the things you do when you're alone. Dancing. Farting. And, you know, all the, all the shit that you do. The quickest way to, like... How would I say? Well, let me concentrate on driving. <clears throat> if you want to be a better person, one of the quickest ways to, like, level up as a human being is to, uh, like, I mean, if you can afford to, good. <laughs> you know, but if you can't, just picture if a private eye was following you around for a week. Just imagine that. You know, what would they see? What would the report be? What would the, what would the, your dossier say? He does this, he flips a bird to everyone, you know, when he's driving, he does this, he cuts people off, he doesn't use his blinker, which that to me is like, oh, that's, that's an offense to humanity. You know, what things would a private investigator, if someone paid, what would they see? in your life and they installed cameras in your house and the whole bit what weirdness would they find what would your dossier say at the, or at the end of a month and you read it and it was given to the world let's say it was like it was going to be published on your would you be embarrassed of what it says would you not want, would you want certain things redacted, you know, I mean, yeah, they would find, like, quirky things with me, like, always eat standing up, I always eat standing up, <laughs> unless I'm in company, I rarely ever sit down and eat, it's just a thing, I put the plate, <laughs> you know, and I sit there and I eat, I, I just have to keep in motion, I generally don't sit and eat, except maybe, dinner. You know, that's like just some weird shit. That's not something I'd be embarrassed of, but we all have weird shit. But what what other stuff might not you might not want being exposed? What things do you know that you ought not be doing or might be considered a little weird or possibly even deviant or whatever the case may be? And I'm not talking about, you know, political things or, you know, uh, boot knocking type things, but just in general, you know, can any person say that if I was followed around, I don't think anyone could say that, not even myself, you know, there's some things that, I mean, I, I'm not maybe even cognizant of that might raise eyebrows or ire with others, you know, hey, that, you know what that bro Frederick always does? <laughs> You know, you know, whatever. You know, you mean you yell at your dog or whatever the case may be. Wow, there's cops all over this place. Well, let's go buzzing through. But that's a good way to do a checkup from the neck up. Is to just ask yourself if you were followed around for a week by a private investigator and had cameras secretly installed in your place of residence and work. And the bars you go to and all the rest of that shit. Would you come out unscathed? Could you run for election? <laughs> you know? Without all the skeletons in the closet? If they interviewed... And said, tell us about so-and-so. What was he like? Or if they... You know? How would that go down? That's how you can level up.
just like really be honest with yourself. Don't judge yourself, just be honest with yourself. I could park at the OYO. The OYO has the craftiest freaking parking lot ever. And let's spin around. Look at that, look at that pub, the back of this parking lot. Let me show you. It's, you can almost touch the ceiling after you get out of your car. <laughs> it's kind of crappy. Maybe we should do that effort, yeah. I think tomorrow I want to do a train track walk because I think it's going to be the last reasonable day. I'm surprised that there's no one here. What about this park? Who does this parking lot belong to? It belongs to Tropicana. Text to pay. I mean... Who's gonna who's gonna scan this shit that's hidden behind our freaking weed and pay to park here? But then again, you know, it is the Tropicana. So these people all scanned that QR code on the way out and paid. I don't know about that. <clears throat> so we have the OYO. And I know the OYO's got the free ass parking. Do, 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 do. But we might wake up dead over there. I don't want that. That place is a little bit sketch. Sketch Olaville. Imagine that. They're going to blow this freaking place up. But, see, here's the thing about them blowing that up. You know how much asbestos is in there? Because these were built in 60... Well, it was uh, open in 67... They started it in 64. So what is that, 60 years? No, 60. What am I talking about? 50. 67 years old. There's definitely freaking asbestos in there. No ifs, ands, or buts. It was 67. So they started building it 70 years Asbestos. When there was water heaters and stuff. They used to sell it in hardware stores. They used to put it under the hood of the car. The shit was everywhere. So if they blow this place up, kaboom, that's going to send a freaking cloud of asbestos everywhere. But again, it's Vegas, so, you know, it's like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? We're already freaking, you know, we're already like doing chemtrails over here. Screw it. We'll, never, we'll blame it on the chemtrails. Oh, but they don't exist either. Cool. Covered on two ways. Now, let's just go around here. All right, I'll do it, people, because I love these. I will do a live stream from the Tropicana's. What up, 5 -oh. Stop for pedestrians. I guess it's, you know, I guess older people are kind of like, a lot of the older, older people who've been coming here forever are probably not thrilled about this. But again, like I said, I never liked the place. If they, I feel the same way, like if they tore down, other than the free parking, if they ever tore down the Treasure Island, I wouldn't like that. Now, I can't say that they're not, but it's like, eh, whatever. Fire it up, bro. Right, let's do this. <clears throat> One of those, uh, tokens and tokens ships will ever be worth anything I think that's a lot of people are going to do like go and spend a hundred bucks and try to see if they could sell them on ebay or not i doubt they'll be like they'll the market will be so flooded with them you'd have to wait like 20 years to even get back your money on those things The weather is an even 64 degrees right now. It's freaking nice. Where are we going? To Oyo. To Oyo. 
I forgot the, what it used to be before this. Someone remind me. But I used to go in there like once a week <clears throat> back in the day just to get their... Uh, they used to have a prime rib buffet. And it was like six ninety nine. This wasn't that long. Ago. Well, it's the first time I lived here in the, in the early 2000s, late 90s. And... Man, you used to just sit there and you used to be able to just scar freaking prime ribs. That's all I used to eat. Just plates and plates of it. <laughs> Some good ass proteins. Hoot none before Hooters. No, it was before it was before Hooters. Before San Remo. There you go. The San Remo. Yeah, the six ninety nine all you can eat uh prime rib buffet. That that shit was boss. It was just boss. And you another awesome thing. I mean I got pros and cons with that. I'd look around and see if, you know, it looked like people wash their hands or not, but just carve the ends, and people would always leave the ends, I don't know why, to me, that's where all the crispy, crusty, delicious cow bacon is, are we going to the airport, I don't know, can I pick anyone up, yeah, F it, <laughs> let's go to the airport, I don't know, so I think the Oyo is the spot, and maybe this Motel 6, but I ain't worth it. The San Remo. Freaking San Remo. Who remembers the showboat? That place was freaking sketchy. <laughs> that was sketchy AF, but it was fun. In a sketchy way. And now there's what's over there? It's like a little strip mall and some expensive apartments sitting in the middle of like a kind of a bad neighborhood. I guess we are going down this way. That's nah, good. Let's have some coffee for the trip. They're putting up these like high rise expensive apartments everywhere in town. They slow down on single, uh, you know, single, f you know, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom apartments, two bedroom averaging like 3,500, like it's freaking San Diego or something. And then they put a Starbucks downstairs and they call it an amenity that you have to pay for. Durr. Yeah, F it. Let's go to the airport. <laughs> We're here. Alright, I'll give you the feel of... No, this is kind of the feel of, like, leaving Vegas. Alright, we'll just swing through it real quick, and then we'll leave, and then you can get the whole thrill of coming to Vegas. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Wow, that coffee's hot. That's the way I like it. It's nuclear. This, yeah, the Stardust was awesome. I used to go into the Stardust and be like, alright, I got 20 bucks. I know if I play one of these dollar freaking um, double diamond deluxes, I'll walk out with like at least 300. Either I'll lose my 20 bucks or 40 bucks, or I'll walk out with three or four. I mean, that's how good it used to be back then. A double, triple bar, double for like 320 bucks, and be like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I can pay a bill now. Sick, I'm gone. And they'd come out, like the coins would be like, dink, 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 dink. And then an attendant would have to show up. And I didn't mind, like, tipping them back then. You know, when they used to have to hump, like, 90-pound bags of freaking tokens. Now they come out with a clipboard, you know, and give you your money, your $1,202 that you have to pay tax on. Like, oh man. So, I mean, 
am I going to tip them? Not, not the 1200 bucks I don't. A lot of people are like, oh, I give them like 20%. percent like, hey, you nuts. <laughs> you out your mind. But to each their own. They, some people say it's good karma. You know, they give away money for free to people who do nothing. All right, where are we going? Use cell phone lot. What is a cell phone lot? Passenger pickup. Where are we going? Let's go pick up people at the airport. Let's go randomly pick people up. Let's go pick up some hitchhikers. Now, for a five grand one, that's different. You know, I'll round it up. If it's like $5,072, I'll give them the $72. But not for your average hand pay. I'd rather give money to the, the dude cleaning the bathroom, you know? He's, he's busting his ass. <clears throat> All right. Let's drive through the parking lot. F it. <laughs> beep, beep, yo ass. Good, bro. With the Rube gun. Wow, there's this like a line to get in here. It's like 50 people. Fill with five bananaramas. They would never put it. <laughs> yeah, I bet they wouldn't. They wouldn't put no cameras up in their spot. No. Man, where are we going? I just want to go. I just want to do a drive through. I don't even know why I chose to do this. Because I just like doing cool shit. I love airports. I'll be honest. I freaking love airports. I don't like the hassle involved in airports, but I like the atmosphere. I grew up around airports. I used to go visiting airports. I just love the comings and goings and the excitement and all that other sh shit involved in airports. <clears throat> I grew up around Kennedy. Well, not really, but yeah. Oh, that's cool. You go, bro. Just stop right there. That's the knucklehead standing in the middle of the middle of the street. Only bro Frederick stands in the middle of the streets. Oh, see, these these traffic controllers are out of control, bro. <laughs> that was a crazy looking dude. They're out of control, you know. I think, I think personally, they make things worse. All the people with the freaking wands and BS. It's like, all right, already. All right, let's go back this way. It's kind of a confusing airport. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've missed where I was supposed to go. Especially at night. You know, you could barely see the signs. Yeah, I mean, empty airports are great. <laughs> without all, yeah, Gary, without all the people. But I, I just love the the atmosphere and the just the vibe and the, the semi excitement and the the feel of travel, whether it's business or pleasure. I just, I just, I just like it. I just like it. I miss the days when you can just go. And walk inside, and you know, I mean, they still can to a degree. We've done it, but like past the gates and do all your stuff and go meet people as soon as they get off the plane. And you know, man, it's when I was a kid, they used to have like the observe, um, like you know, Pan Am interaction, just cool stuff. And you don't do that no more go to the little spots and have breakfast and whatever. Nope. I remember, well, I mean, I'm, I'm talking, I'm a, I was a child. I remember, like, moms or grams used to take me and all my male cousins, because, I mean, the female cousins weren't really into it, or maybe, I don't know. It was a thing, but they took all the male cousins, and they used to be able to, they did these things like meet the pilot back in like the, I don't know, late 70s or whatever the heck it was, and they used to open up a plane, 
and used to go into a freaking 747, you know, whatever, and you'd go into the cockpit, and the pilot would be like, hey, what's up, how you doing, boys, you know, one day you two can be a pilot, you know, stay in school, eat your vitamins and stuff, you know, whatever happened to that, I mean, that was, that was a, I remember that to this day. And they'd give you a little, like, you know, little plastic model on a stand that you could sit and look at when you were a kid, you know, of whatever plane you toured, and it showed you up and down, and, yeah, I remember that distinctly. That, that's something I'll never forget. They used to have <clears throat> observation decks, like I was saying, where you could watch the land and take off. And, I mean, back then, the pilots were like, you know, they were like rock stars. Yeah, I got good memories from that. Oh, that was cool, he waved. Thank you for letting me in. Shall I wave to the guy behind me? Yeah, sure. What up? <laughs> Thanks for letting me slide on in. Now, what is this freaking traffic? You hear that uh, what's his face from uh, United resigned over all the <laughs> doors flying off and uh, all the drag races for kids and whatever that he was participating in. But not till the end of 2024. I think that's just called retiring. Resigning is like, here's my letter of resignation. Um, clean out your desk, AMF, you know. But <laughs> yeah, we, we lit, our world is upside down right now. So he's under fire for being like a horrible whatever person. Your planes are falling apart. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm, I'm resigning. But not till the end of 2024, which is another nine months. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Do I drive a hybrid? I drive a diesel. A diesel. Diesel, like Vin Diesel. Shout out Warrenson. I really can't keep that much on top of the chat. But yeah, he was involved in some sketchy stuff. I mean, I have. I was a frequent flyer. I never, like, turned in my badge or nothing. I had the frequent flyer activities on, uh, on United. It was one of my preferred airlines. I like Southwest. A lot of people knock Southwest as being like a, you know, a low budget type of situation. But I like Southwest. Southwest was as comfortable, if not more comfortable, than uh, than United in a lot of scenarios. And the doors don't fly off. Might have been on a plane. The freaking door flies off. We don't go through lights here at the Bro Nation. Bonk. Look at those clouds. Isn't that trippy? Those clouds are trippy AF. Yeah, I mean, they're all, they're all about the same now. You know? I mean, unless you're doing international flights, that's when you really see the difference. If you get on a plane and go to Germany or something, that's when you know who you're flying with. But domestic travel, ah, they're all about the same, except for Spirit. Because they have fleas and shit on board. <laughs> it's just weird. And then they nickel and dime you and whatnot. I did it one time. I'm just like, no, never again. Ugh, no. But Southwest, I've never had a bad experience. United, I've never really had a bad experience either. All the doors were intact when we landed. I gotta put on the AC. 
If it gets too windy, let me know. Alright, let's fire up. Top vent, middle vent. I'll try to tame the, the whooshing. Now, I'll try not to make it too loud near here. That should be significantly less. Yeah, and they do have a lot. Yeah, you're right. They do have a lot of direct flights. Southwest Airlines. What the hell are we? Oh, Thomas and Mack Center. Shit, it's been like years since I stepped foot in that place. I kind of remember the last place, last time I was there for a significant reason. Bro, move. like the wide angle view. Sometimes I don't want to go paradise. Yeah. Take me down to paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home. Wow, I haven't been in this neighborhood in forever either. That's where I'm paradise. That's where I generally go buy my fish and my, uh, my rice noodles. I love freaking rice noodles. They're like a flavor that you want, and they're so much healthier than just straight up pasta from a dietary standpoint. It's getting a little loud in here. Not you guys. Diana. Taking a break, Miss Ghoul. Cool. <laughs> you have a lot of Amazon flights there? Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of them come in here, too. You just don't see them. They're also opening up a hub for DHL here in town. Which the main who uses DHL anymore? It's mostly international and the People's Republic of. You missed the Hard Rock? Yeah, the Hard Rock, Rock was alright. I have not been back to this, uh, the Virgin in, since grand opening. That was it. I had enough of it. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I love, uh, of course, I love pasta too. Especially, I mean, my favorite, rigatoni, where all the stuff can get inside, and, ah, oh, it's delicious. Even gluten-free rigatoni, that's, that's kind of a jam. But the rice noodles are good too. And they cook so freaking fast. I mean, I put on the, the electric kettle, gets to a boil in like a minute and a half, pour it on top of the rice noodles, bam, they're like done <laughs> within like maybe a minute and they're done and you can't really F them up, which is another cool thing because sometimes I got a habit of like getting distracted, I get a phone call, a text, I'll sit down and you know have some epiphany that I need to handle and it's like oh shit, my pasta is mush, start all over again, but yeah I like pasta too. But a lot of sauce. A lot of sauce. Either that. Oh, no. I want to go straight. Bro, let me go. Let me go, bro. Whoa. Is that freaking turn sign? Um, a lot of butter and garlic. And oregano. Oh, that I can do all day. A booty place. A booby spot. Embassy Suites. Wow, a plane just flew over our head. Like a giant Airbus. I don't know if you saw that. Well, it flew over my head. Where does this go? <laughs> I 
I so rarely come on the east side of town because I'm west coast. But this is interesting. UNLV. Signal on the side of town isn't all that great. Oh, I know where we are now. I was just never inspired to go to that. The Virgin again. I heard there's no virgins there, too. You know? If there was virgins there, I would go. Yeah, I love a good meat sauce. You are 100% correct. Meat sauce is awesome. Every meal needs garlic. True. <laughs> something about rigatoni. I just like the way everything's inside of it. and You know, I make a mean pesto. That I gotta say. If the if the season is right and my Bosna Gold grows real good, I make up some mean pesto. And I also make a sun-dried tomato pesto. If the tomato... It, it's really... It's weird here growing stuff. Like, I should be planting all my herbs and my tomatoes about right now, but some years they just will not grow. And other years, they're out of control. You know, like pesto every night. It all depends. I don't know what it has to do with, but tomatoes are so freaking hard to grow here. Unbelievable. Sometimes they like, just when they start to attempt to ripen, they just pop. And like, I, like they swell up and die. Oh, that was sneaky AF. That was a, what was that? That was a little Ford Escort or a Fusion or something. 5-0. Plain clothes dude. He had like, hey, it, was, it looked like he was dressed well. Had a nice sweatshirt on. <laughs> All tailored and stuff. Wow. What is this? The Terrace Park Apartments. Why am I sitting behind this guy? I don't know. You hear all the planes going over? Pulled over a taxi cab. Absolutely. I'm buying a new uh, a new skillet. Because yeah, I'm going to do some cooking on my own platform. Not like it's not going to be a freaking cooking show, but there's some things I want to show you that I do. On the regular. And my skillet, although I love it because it's so well seasoned. I mean, it's really well seasoned. Um, it's just not nice to look at. <laughs> I don't think people will understand seasoning versus, damn, when are you going to clean that thing? Because I clean it all the time. I just don't like to scrub it and kill it like a cast iron, you know? But it's so hard to find one without, uh, you know, all the toxic freaking non-stick bullshit in it. That shrinks your Johnson. You guys knew that, right? I mean, I, I made a whole video about that. Non-stick, eating from non-stick pans shrinks your Johnson. Science has proven it. Trust the science. Yeah, like tonight, I'm about to, after I get, after we do the, the test live stream on the other platform, I'm going to make a taco pizza in the oven. Five minutes to prepare, ten minutes to cook. Healthy. I don't use soap on my cast iron pans. I generally don't. I mean, unless I really F up and like burn something in there. But usually, uh, I use a, a mild stainless steel scrubbing pad. Not one of those real aggressive ones that, you know, scratches everything. 
but a mild one that I found at the dollar store. I bought like 10 of them. It's, it's gentle, and that usually cleans it. And a lot of people would say, you know, oh, it's still dirty. That could be bacteria, this, that, and the other. Oh. Um, oh, excuse me, I burped that, everyone. Um, and up to freaking 400 degrees before you... I think it kills everything. You know, that's kind of my take on it. I don't really fear that too much. I undercooked some chicken the other day, and I ate it. And I didn't really feel all that great afterwards, I'll be honest. You can tell, you know, when it's not falling off the bone, like it's fighting to stay on the bone for dear life. And the color was okay. I think it hit temperature, but I didn't feel too great after eating that. I have no... Oh, I know where we are. We're coming up behind uh, this place. Country Club Estates. The Las Vegas Country Club. This is a beautiful place right here to our right. The Las Vegas Country Club. What up? He used a hand signal. I haven't seen anyone use a hand signal in, like, forever. That was cool. I've done a couple of photo shoots there, and I know some people live there, too. Beautiful old place. Classic. And spendy. Look at the type of fence they got around that. I like that. That's what we should have around our whole southern border. Except another 300 feet tall. But yeah, it's, it's a nice place. <clears throat> I mean, some people would say, in terms of washing stuff, some people would say never wash any of your blades. Because soap, for some reason, is supposed to, like, uh, detemper the steel, and it won't hold an edge. I don't know about all that. I mean, it's possible. Because nothing's as sharp as a brand new knife. And I sharpen mine, you know, pretty right, you know, when I feel it not cutting. <laughs> well, what else have got theories? But I wash mine. Because I do sharpen them, like, you know, once a week. Or at the bare minimal, I'll use a steel on them. There's nothing like a sharp knife. Even my personal knives, you know, things I put in my pockets. I keep those sharp too. I don't even know where we are. I'm losing track here. This looks like some beautiful apartments. <clears throat> Wires on the outside. <laughs> that is the sign of a really nice apartment. And you have wires on the walls on the outside. Where are we? Oh, okay. We're in Sahara. Trippy AF. Did not know. This is kind of a sketchy turn. It's got that freaking divider right in the middle. I don't believe this dude doesn't make a wide turn next to me. I find that like 90% or higher of drivers always do wide turns. I don't. I mean, sometimes I do. It depends on the speed, you know. Like if I'm taking, if it's a green light and I'm just passing through it, it's hard to, you know, do the lane to lane thing. You know, I'll take it a little wide, but if I'm just turning at normal traffic speed, you know, I, I do that because it's safer. It doesn't cost me anything, but people just like go from what this turn and lane and they'll go three lanes over. I never got that. Mm -hmm. Me too. I love washing stuff. I like I like hand washing my dishes. I find it very cathartic and relaxing. You know, gives me a chance to like unwind and think about life and stuff, or listen to music or whatever. I use my blinkers. <laughs> I 
Oh, I just got my first ad. Is that actually my first ad after an hour? Holy freaking... No, maybe another one passed that I just didn't see. Come on, let's do this. Bro, nation get together in less than a month. Oh, look at the uh, triceratops on the roof. Okay, he did the right thing. He turned into the proper lane. Good on you, bro. Let's drive off into the sunset. That's blinded yet. I'm kind of blinded. What? The Jade Dispensary sends a limo to pick you up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Send a limo to come pick you up. That's crazy. What up? This person just rolled up and smiling at me. It's like, how you doing? Whatever. Sahara's another one that's extraordinarily strict about video. If they see you, they will stop you. If they don't see you, then you know you do your thing. But they will stop you. Hey, what are you doing, bro, Frederick? Alright, can we? Yes, there's enough room to hook up this way. Let's go north a little bit. The straw, that's a nice view right there. Look at that. Bam, strap. What up? Who would do that sky jump? I think I might do it. That Atomic Golf is open. Maybe I should check that out. The Aztec, no way. Free wireless printing, it says. <laughs> and weekly rooms. That place looks sketchola. That was fun when me and Captain Dave went there. Met the ladies of the evening. They followed us around and shit. It was good times. They spent six million dollars for that. I haven't walked around down here in a while. I think I'm gonna have to do that soon. I wanna get some walks in before the weather just turns to ass. And before my projects start. That ripping out the studio and putting it back up is not gonna be easy. <sighs> Trust me. That's gonna be a challenge. I might, I might leave it the same. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. It's not like I want a new look. I just want more space. I think that's that's why I'm gonna do it. But it is gonna be a big project because I got some of the some of the lights that I use are actually mounted to the ceiling. You know, and they're on like. Uh, extension arms, articulating arms, which is kind of cool, otherwise I'd be tripping over light stands, because there's, there's a, there's a bunch of lights in there, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven lights in there, and only two of them are sitting on the floor, because I move them around, because I get a little different, like if I'm wearing a white shirt, it looks completely different than if I'm wearing a black shirt. So sometimes I have to adjust. It's easier to adjust the lighting than it is to adjust the camera. <clears throat> Authentic Venezuelan food. That sounds good. Oh, there's a lot more Venezuelans in this country now. These, these spots should be popping up all over. There's hundreds of thousands of them. I can teach you how to make like 
prison food. So I think that's where a lot of them came from. 24 hour topless cabaret. <laughs> Shalimar, Shalimar. I used to go to the Shalimar all the time. I tell you, I told you guys that they had the best Cuban restaurant ever in the history of ever. Well, I found one in Miami that was no, it wasn't in Miami. Where was it? Uh, like Palm Coast. That was pretty damn good. But these, that that was oh, that was so good, and those people were so nice. Oh, look at that. They turned they turned an old CVS into an adult toy spot. That's interesting. Old toys. Jackhammers and all sorts of stuff. I mean, honestly, I'd have to say of that Aztec, the food, look, I didn't eat anything there, but it looked pretty good and looked fairly reasonable, too. When they first reopened, they were like, hey, bro, Frederick, what up? Come on in. Do your streaming thing. No, 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 don't let me interfere. <laughs> you just stream. We're cool, we're cool. And then it became like, you know, wanting to kneel on the back of my head level. And so I just haven't been over there. And they moved. There, there was one buffalo machine in there. There's the famous pawn shop. Um, did you see that? There was one buffalo machine in there that just kept paying. It was pretty freaking consistent. One out of four. And then they moved it, and I was just like, I got no reason to be here. I still like starting the live streams over there. <clears throat> so maybe we should go test their, uh, how would you say that? Uh, take it easy there. Maybe we should go test their uh, camera friendliness. move, bro. Bonneville. Got the bon. Look at that guy go right through the light. Saw that, right? Bonneville Blasters. Wow, it's a nice looking Chase Bank. It's a new. It's a mineral black. Blacked it out. I enjoyed that walk. It's a downtown walk. I am looking forward to going and eating at uh, Finn and Feathers. That spot we found with those cool people in there and the awesome food. Yeah, I'm looking forward to checking them out. The Apache. Surprised they didn't get attempted cancellation. Apache. There's the D. Who are you calling a D? Look at that. Freaking tower of craziness up there. Right, let me see if I missed anything. Do -do -do -do. Let me check if I missed any super chat activities. No, I did not. We good. Back on all messages. That place is pretty much a disappointment if you ever go there. It's not like, you know, Chumley's gonna hang out. He's not the front door, like, you know, hugging everyone. They're never there. I've been in there a couple times. I don't think they're ever there. I mean, would you? <laughs> you know, if you were making millions and millions off some show or whatever. Oh, you got this? You got an official uh, samurai sword from this dynasty? Oh, the best I could do is five bucks. 
<laughs> you know, I mean, if you wait inside during that place, no. Yeah, I never begrudge people that. But, you know, there is some cardboard cutouts you can take a picture. However, you know, filming being what filming is, it looks completely different in person. It looks like such a huge place. It's pretty tiny. It doesn't look like, you know, how it's represented on the small screen. I saw the internet freaking out today about, uh, what is it? The internet's always freaking out about something. On X, someone put a they they put a little clip video of J Lo spitting her gum out into the hand of her personal assistant, and the the, the internet was trying to roast her. But see, you gotta critically think for a second, you know. Okay, and everyone's like, you know, all the the do gooders and the SJWs, like, oh my God, how can you treat another human being like that? What is she too good to walk down the block and properly dispose it in a thing? And, you know, yeah, I carry around tissues and then blah, 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 everyone's better than everyone. Blah. Oh my God. And I'm just sitting. People are just dumb as shit. <clears throat> because you have to think about it. It's JLo who's worth millions upon millions and upon millions upon millions of dollars. It's her personal assistant. And mind you, this was during a movie. It wasn't like just walking down the street. She was on the set of a movie. So obviously, you know, this X is on the ground. Okay, for this shot, you stand here. You know? <laughs> and so you can't like F up the entire shot to go walk down the block in New York City and find a receptacle or whatever. You have to stay in the spot. Okay, good. Um, okay, she's worth millions. How much do you think she pays her personal assistant at the bare minimum let's just talk about bare minimums I should have turned oh what's this guy doing what's what am I doing what's everyone doing let's freaking get out of here oh something just smelled good worked its way into the car my vent must be open um at the bare minimum should we turn here yeah, yeah. okay let's turn here it's gotta be paying her like at, no, I shouldn't be going down here. No, I should be going straight. Oh, I just freaking jacked myself up. What, 100,000? 200,000? 300,000? Uh, for 200,000, if I was getting paid 300,000 and living, you know, being dragged around Hollywood and having the time of my freaking life as a 22-year-old personal assistant, yeah, you can spit your gum in my hand. Just don't try to hock it in there, but yeah, I'll put my hand, spit your freaking gum in my hand for 200k a year, you know, <laughs> but people are just, people, I just don't understand why people defend people who aren't even bothered, you think, there's no way in the world she's paying her personal assistant like $18 an hour. You know, then I could see, all right, you're paying your personal assistant 18 bucks an hour and you're spitting your gum in her hand while you're on the set of a movie. Uh, yeah, it's a little freaking rough, but it's her personal assistant. Follows her around, books all her appointments, you know, lies for her, does this for her, does that for her, go by my Kotex, the whole freaking shit. You know, you cannot tell me that she isn't well paid. And if you gotta, you know, put your hand out and let me freaking drop my gum in your hand, so be it. But why do people have to defend people as none of their freaking business? Absolutely none of their freaking business. Oh my God, what kind of awful person? But, but, but that's the society we live in. Nobody's thinking, wait a second. You know, that personal assistant's probably making four times more than you make at freaking Walmart. You know, and if you were making four times out of Walmart, if the guy who runs Walmart wants to put his freaking gum in your palm, you'll do it. Trust me, you will shut the fuck up and you will do it. And you, you will do it with a smile on your face because you're laughing your way all the way to the bank with that chunk of gum. And then you can clone her too because you have her DNA. But people are just wild. 
people are just wild. There's no critical thought left amongst humans. Everyone has to defend people who are not being... They're, they're not asking for anyone to defend them. That's so stupid. But defend the people who are asking. <laughs> you know, if you want to be a SJW, defend the people who are literally asking for it. Perhaps homeless... Perhaps people with, you know, disabilities, perhaps, you know, old people getting tossed out of their properties because they can't afford it anymore because their rent went up freaking 800 bucks. You know, defend those people. They're literally asking for your help. Do it. No, I'm going to defend people who are not asking for my help that I do not know, <laughs> that don't know me, and I don't fully have a grasp of what's going on. Those are the people I'm going to defend. Why? Because it requires no effort. That's why. Zero effort to do that. All I need to do is open up an app and fire up a feisty reply. How dare she do that? What kind of person does that to another human being? Mad face send. <laughs> so there's no effort involved in that. And then you'll get a bunch of likes and validation for being such a great person. Versus, versus actually fucking helping people <laughs> you know actually getting taking time out of your day and effort and helping your fellow man that's why social jw's warriors justice um are just they're bothersome they're like gnats at the beach because they don't do anything they think they're doing something, they want validation for doing something, but they accomplish nothing. Absolutely freaking nothing. They are a plague on society. They're a burden on society because those same people will not lift a finger to help someone who actually needs it. You know, they're, they're just behind a keyboard, you know, dispensing justice. We're bringing awareness to situations like, you know, six-figure personal assistants having to accept gum from their millionaire. Oh, shut up. I don't respect people like that one iota. People are all freaking talk and no action. I say I'm going to do something, I freaking do it. Or I die trying sit behind a keyboard well I'm bringing awareness to the situation so other people can actually take effort because you know I'm, I'm busy I have so many causes you know I have so many causes I have to keep up on oh really <laughs> you, you, all the sites you bookmark on X to just be an asshole on I just, I just don't understand people oh we get to see dinosaurs I do understand them that's the problem I guess that's why it pisses me off. <laughs> I guess that's why I get pissed off. Because I do understand people. Call them out on that shit. I respect people who, uh, you know, who actually do stuff. Most people actually do stuff, do it in quiet, you know? They have to announce it. Like, well, remember when there was a, the, that, there was a YT trend of, I'm walking up to a homeless person and giving him $100, and let's follow him around for the next eight hours and see what he does with it. Uh, talk about usury. You know, that, that's horrible. You want you got a hundred bucks to give, just walk up and freaking give it to them and keep walking. You know, you, you need to announce it and film it and make a spectacle out of the poor person. Just stop. Thankfully, that level of exploitation is toned down a lot. But good for you. Even from a biblical standpoint, you know, that's just wrong. What does it say? <laughs> easier for a you know to pass through an eye of a needle you know than for a rich man to get to heaven via deeds what's more important a rich dude donating a thousand bucks or a poor guy splitting his sandwich with you 
what gets more street cred? You know what I'm saying? That's pretty accurate. That is pretty damn accurate, head-wise. Tyrannosaur, just F you up. I bet I could make one into a pet, though. Some people would say, well, you, you think too much about, you know, the, you know, just like, why would you have to read that and read into it? Because I, I like to freaking critically think, and I like to shine light into dark corners and get other people to stop being, see, that, that, you know what that is? Besides being an SJW, that's being extraordinarily judgmental, you know? You don't know this the, that person's situation. They didn't even realize until someone pointed it out that that was a set of a movie. What, she doesn't have legs? She can't walk down the block, find a proper receptacle to deposit that gum? Blah, blah, blah. You know, like, just going off with no facts. That's what that's where we live in. That's why people are so wound up in the concept. And I keep going back to this all the time. The concept is the arbitrator of what's fair. Because nobody, and I repeat, no, nobody has all the facts to determine what's fair and what's not. That's the bottom line. So when you're judging how other people are behaving for the most part, and not really having as much factual information in front of you as possible, you're just being a judgmental asshole. You know? And sometimes you're hurting people. I mean, I'm no J-Lo from a hole in the wall. She doesn't need me to defend her. But... I used to have assistants. I don't think I've ever spit gum in their hand because I don't chew gum. But, you know, they've done stuff for me. Hey, bro, you got some, you got some toilet paper on your shoe. <laughs> and I'd lift up my foot and I'd be like, thanks, man, appreciate it. Good looking out, you know? But I paid them well, and they were just like, whatever. Hey, bro, Patrick made me take toilet paper. Oh, shut up, because I do it for them, too. That's the sign of a good leader. You know, I would do it for them, too. If they walked out of the bathroom with toilet paper on their shoe, I'd be like, yo. <laughs> you know, one good turn deserves another. Bonk, bonk. Speaking of the Aztecs, we stop in. All the actions taking place out front. And I've got a whole bunch out back. That's actually cheap. 403. The gas over there? That's cheap. I just paid 439 back in my neighborhood. scammed. Just in time to stop. Wow, it's, it's got beautiful out. Look at the sun. Just coming down all nice over there. Golden hour. Engage. So you guys, if the weather's halfway decent, you guys want me to do a train walk tomorrow? Train track walk? Probably do it early. Well, not early, 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 but earlier. I'll probably do it maybe like two, three. 
no later than four, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be out there in the dark, not that I have a problem with it, but, yeah, whatever, you know what I'm saying, prefer not to, if you want me to, I will, if you guys will be there with me, I'll do it. Wow, this mug is so good. An hour and a half later, it's still nuclear hot. <sighs> yeah, I will do that. That's not too fun. It'll be the last, like, train walk until next year. Bath time at the Chateau. Yeah, yeah, my, you know, yeah, I'm with you, Alan. <laughs> what are we talking about, Chris Pryor? You would uh, like the guy. Yeah, I. Uh, it's like the only Jurassic Park I didn't watch to the end, I think, was that one. The one with Chris Pratt. I like him as an actor, though. He's I. I don't think, I don't know, something about that movie was like, I don't know. Didn't quite work for me. There was too much farcical stuff in there. But they are working on some. They can clone uh, dinosaurs because there's enough DNA, you know, because they found soft tissue already. They could do it if they wanted to. They cloned what's her face? What's, what's the one that says she has cancer now? Kate something. They cloned her. They clone her. They clone you. They clone me. That was, oh, that was a hundred percent deep fake AI. Yes, I am saying it. I analyzed that. That's some deep fakery on an epic level. They just don't want you to know that, you know, she came to the thing in the arm a long time ago. Oh, yeah, she's still alive. I know how to do that. I mean, if I wanted to create, like, a... An AL female, 23-year-old AI influencer, I could make her move, make her talk, the entire bit. It is so easy. It is so easy. It can be done with free programs, you know? So, yeah. I mean, just look at the bench. The bench doesn't even make sense that she's sitting on. <laughs> they, there's certain things you have to do. You have to give it, like, baselines to work with all the AI. And it wasn't even done, like, it was done in, like, chat GPT. It wasn't done in, you know, high-tech servers, you know, military servers or anything. <laughs> you know, it's pretty freaking amateur if you look at it. You can always tell by the hands, the disappearing ring. Like, when you move the hand, it's there. Turn it a different way, it's not. I mean, uh, the two sides of the benches don't line up. There's two different freaking balustrades on each side, different sizes. <laughs> it's just a mess. And people are like, oh, yeah, okay. Makes sense. What is this guy doing? Sitting his dumb ass in the middle of the freaking road. Really, dude? You are the epitome of dumbassery. Look at this. Why? But I have a Tesla. And this dumbass is going to do the same thing. Right. Let me give him screw face. Oh, he's got color match tires. All right, that's cool. All right, what is taking place up in here? The resorts world. Catch another freaking YouTuber in there. Or is this some kind of drama? That's a bunch of polices. Uh-oh. Oh, they got all over some homeless dude. Now they're going through his shit. Must be 
Someone's done something. Yeah, I kind of dig the world for a change. Wide angles giving the town a different look today. I think I'll let you guys choose in the future whether you want the one to one or the wide angle. Kind of digging the wide angle. For now, because the clouds are like tying in, but the buildings look tiny, you know, that's the only trade off. Wide angle equals tinier buildings. <clears throat> yeah, Kate, that's yeah, exactly what I'm talking about. Great day, Mom. Good old Kate. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm slow to lean on the freaking horn, because someone will just like jump out with a gat and freaking, you know, send some stuff flying through the windshield. I don't care how tough you are, <laughs> that's not a good place to be. That happens a lot in this town, maybe not on the strip, but it's a very common occurrence. Road rage in Las Vegas does not end well. For the most part. You get a little, eh, I don't go, eh. <laughs> yeah. I'll step out with an AK. Turn into a statistic. It's kind of hard to defend yourself when you're sitting down in a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. People crazy. We gotta do the news again this week. There's so much news to catch up on. say empty, but it's it's lacking some peoples for sure. It looked like some legit size zeros. Showgirls. And yes, I point that out, because I respect it. It's kind of nice. I'm enjoying this right now. However, I gotta go, because I have, yeah, so on my own streaming platform, Bro Frederick Braun Uncensored, I am going to do a test live stream at 7.30, and I already sent out a notification for it, well, probably the system will or did, it's on the calendar, if you want to check what's coming up, just check the calendar, and you will see all that stuff. Um, but we're going to go over the ins and outs of that this week on the platform itself. Show you how to use the calendar, how to link it to a personal calendar, all the cool stuff that's built into it. But I'm, it's just going to be quick, like 15 minutes max. I just got to I just gotta make sure that, um, that the live chat is... I found a little glitchiness in it. And I had a little hard time reading it on the iPad. I want to be able to do some live streams from the iPad, you know, just impromptu stuff, just bust something out real quick, you know, so I got it set up to do that, I want to do a little testing with it, it's so maybe like 15 minutes, it's nothing mandatory, if you miss it, you miss it, I'm not going to publish it afterwards, I'm just going to delete it once it's done, so if you get the notification and you didn't see it, don't worry about it, you didn't miss a damn thing. But if anyone does want to show up, that'd be cool. Because I do need to test the live chat activities. And that will... Oh, shit, I got a green. Let's go, bro. I never trust these people here. You never know if someone's going to, like, stick their freaking nose out. Ah, off into the sunset. Look at that. How beautiful. So if you want to join me over there. And, you know, any of you people out there want to join... Now is the time because it's never ever going to be at a 
more discounted price, not even a Black Friday or none of that. Use the coupon code FOUNDERS, plural, all caps, FOUNDERS25, and you'll get 25% off for life. <laughs> not for a month, not for a week, not for a year, for life. And that is what I'm calling the Founder Member Discount. So go ahead and do that if that's what you choose to do. And it applies to any membership level, from the cheapest to the highest. Wow, that sun is strong. Time to engage the sun visor. So yeah, go check me out over there. I appreciate everyone hanging out with me. I appreciate the Super Chat activities. I don't think I missed anyone, but that covered the gas. So that is good. Matter of fact, I'm going to go stick that 20 bucks in the tank right now. <laughs> and then I'll head home. So yeah. Tomorrow, like I said, most likely train walk activities. And I got all sorts of stuff planned this week. And we'll go over, like I said, the Tropicana. Now we know we can park at the OYO. If we get kicked out, we get kicked out. I mean, I doubt they're going to freaking, you know, arrest us or anything. So it might be good content. It might be good for memories or it might be good content when they act a fool. So, yeah, I will do that and we will find out what happens at Tropicana sometime this week. I'm not going to wait until the last day. It's like 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. on the 2nd. I'm not going to go there the last day on the 1st or anything. It'll be sometime this week. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And while I got you, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is at least, psh, I'm going to put my fingers up five times a week. And like I said, check me out on my new platform, heybrofrederick.com, and click on links, do the stuff, but I appreciate you guys, I love you guys, and I look forward to hanging out with you again tomorrow. And on that note, looking at this beautiful sunset. Oh, let me drop the exposure before I do that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's actually what I see. It's like blinding but beautiful. And on that note, Bro Frederick out. <laughs>